glad you joined us today. I want to introduce somebody very special with me, and that is Sophie. Hello, Sophie. Hi. Thank you so much for being with me today. You've watched our cooking programs before, haven't you? Yes. Yes. In fact, do you live a long way away from Miss Brenda? No. No. We're, we're kind of neighbors, aren't we? Yes. Yes, but we've never met before. Melissa just gave me my, my iPad, so thank you, Melissa. And, um, uh, and I want to thank everybody for joining us today. What we, we um, I think is um, Vassy, Tori is joining. Is that Anna? Mm -hmm. Anna's joining us. Anna, I want to say sp something special to you. I love that, you know, Anna makes almost every single dish we make and she takes a picture and sends it to us. And you can actually see those pictures on our website. So boys and girls, if you're watching right now, whatever recipe we make, and you can, even if it's not this one today, you can go on our website, kidsclubforjesus.org, and you can choose any of those recipes, make the recipe to have someone take a picture of you holding that dish, and we will put it on our website for you. Isn't that awesome? So you can do that, right, Sophie? You can maybe cook something. Maybe you can make one of these today and have your picture on there. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. But this program will be there as well, so people will be able to see you on this program. And uh, let's see who else we have. I um, want to say hi to Rhonda's watching. Hi, Ron. It's Rhonda. 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 <laughs> yes. And Carolyn's watching from Wisconsin. I want to say hi to Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. And Mary Guy is watching. Hi, Mary Guy. <laughs> and Mich is, Michelle is watching. Hi, Michelle. And Rhonda is watching from Naples, Florida. But she's, she actually lives in Naples, Florida, but she's watching in Michigan. And guess what? She's a good friend of my mama. Yeah. In fact, Rhonda, I wonder if you saw my mom in church Sabbath. So she's right there. So in the wintertime, my mom lives with me. But she's home right now. And, um, and Micah and Michaela is joined us. Say hi to Micah and Michaela. Hi, Micah. Hi, Michaela. Uh, from Long Beach, California. And uh, we're so glad that you joined us today. Today, we have a special recipe for you. Um, it's what, anything with pumpkin in it. I really love pumpkin. And these are my pumpkin pecan pancakes. And let me read the recipe for you, okay? For these, this is a vegan recipe. We always post a vegan recipe and a vegetarian recipe. So you can have both. So if you want to use eggs in a recipe, uh, you can, that recipe's posted. Today we're doing a vegan recipe, and can I tell you why I chose vegan today? We, we, I mix it up, sometimes it's not always vegan. Today's a very special day, you know why? My cousin Clarence and his wife Junie are here, all the way from Texas, and they are gonna be our tasters today, and guess what? Junie also is bringing her brother Bill. So we have some very special tasters, and you'll see them at the end of the program to try them, and I tell you one thing, my cousin Clarence, um, he's going to tell me the truth for sure. He's going to tell me if he likes them or not. So you're either going to get a thumbs up or a thumbs down from Clarence, okay? So we'll wait and see what he gives us. Uh, I kind of think he's going to like these, though. All right, and um, so let me get put the ingredients here, if we can get them on the screen for you. For this, you're going to need three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one-fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of ground ginger, a pinch of ground cloves, one teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of chopped pecans, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one half cup of maple syrup, three fourths cups of almond milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one half cup of canned pumpkin. And uh, that's, that's really all there is to it in this recipe. It's, um, it's pretty good. I'm gonna have to turn this heat up, I can see. Let me just get this on our... I'm so excited we have someone donated the funds for us to be able to have a cooktop. And, if, and we'll show you um, later, I'll pick it up and um, we can now cook and do recipes right here. Isn't that nice? Because if, if I cook over at my stove, my back is to you and you don't get to really see over there either so what it wouldn't be very helpful so what we have here is i have an extra large. you can take a mixing bowl but i like to mix my pancake mix in a in a four cup measuring cup glass one um, because it's easy to, ha to handle when you're pouring pancake batter so for this we're going to put all our dry ingredients first we're going to stir it up with a wire whisk then we're going to add all the wet ingredients stir that up and we're ready to make pancakes isn't that cool so let's see if we have anybody else that's joined us here real quick. 
and um, uh, and and I want to know are you gonna make these pancakes too these are really fun to make um, let's see Na uh, Nana uh, is watching. Hello, Nana, all the way over from Australia. Thank you for watching us to, with us today. And uh, we have so many people from different places are watching. Um, Andy is watching. Andy, tell us where you're watching from, okay? Um, and uh, I know my mom is watching. So, hi, mom. I want to let you know I love you. And yes, you're going to see your nephew at the end of this program, okay? All right. So, to get started, why don't you put our flour in here and here's uh-huh that's the flour and you can use this to help you put it in here if you want so you get to the last drop get it all in there good job just don't touch this right here because we're trying to get this hot i'm thinking i might have to turn it up because and then we'll turn it down just to get make sure we get it hot that looks good good job okay now we're going to put in our cornstarch. Our, go ahead and you can put in now all the rest of the ingredients. We have our salt, our cornstarch, our baking powder, baking soda. We have our cinnamon, cloves, and ginger. You can put all these in here. Just make sure you get it all in there, okay? Let me tell you the reason why we're putting a teaspoon of cornstarch in. Um, that is our binder. That takes the place of an egg. Now, I know some people will spend a lot of money for something called egg replacer. It is absolutely um, not necessary at all that you spend the money for that. It's so much you know, less expensive to purchase just a small box of, uh, of uh, cornstarch. And that's really what it is. And use that. And you can, for every egg, you're going to need a one tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of a liquid. In this case, the liquid is already added in our, in our almond milk, so we would just adding the cornstarch to the dry ingredients. And now you can just put all those in there. Can make sure you get all out. You're doing such a good job, Sophie. Thank you. Tell me, how old are you? Seven. You're seven years old, and what grade are you in? First. First grade? Did you just finish first grade, or are you starting first grade? Um, I'm almost done. I'm turning it in October. October. So the next in this school year, you'll be in second grade? Yes. Wow, are you excited about that? You're getting pretty big to be a second grader, huh? And and do you have some nice friends in school? Well, I'm really homeschooled. Mm-hmm. And that's a good um, thing to do. I used to get it spalding. Uh-huh. And but, and yeah. uh, how do you like being homeschooled? It's really fun. It's really fun. Does your mom make it really fun? Yeah. Do you ever get to go on a field trip? Yes. What what places have you gone on a field trip? It's been a long time. Oh, okay. We'll have to talk to mom about that, huh? And uh, mom's smiling. Mom's over here. She's smiling a little bit. So, um, but can you remember any field trips you've been on? Um, you can help her out, mom. We went to the farm a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. What we was went, that? Um, we went to the farm. What kind of a farm? It was um, you can just a mix cattle that up. farm. A cattle farm? Yeah. Then was it for dairy, for milk, or was it for a beef cattle? Beef. Beef cattle. Was that interesting? Did it smell a lot there? When I was little, we had a farm. We had some cattle, and I can tell you that us kids had to get up early every morning to just muck out the stalls. You know what that means when you muck out the stall? No. That means you have to shovel all the... Poop? Yep. <laughs> I was trying to find a nice way to say it, but there you go. <laughs> That's probably the best way to say it, just the way it is. So, yeah, I love that about the ki about kids. You just, you know, they just tell it like it is, and that's a really good thing. Um, but, yeah, that, and it didn't smell too good either. <laughs> and then in the morning, I, I, I would worry about my hair stinking like that. I'd be like, well, I don't want to go to school with my hair stinking like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like like that yeah that's true all right so now okay so now we can take that out and you're going to add um let's go ahead and add our almond milk i'm going to pour that in there uh -huh, and you can f scrape it out with that if you want and we've got our maple syrup yep you're doing really good and let's see who has joined us else here too Oh, Monique is joining us. Monique, I love you, girl. I miss you. We need to talk soon. Uh, Monique actually used to be, when I was um, uh, recording Kids Time, Monique um, was our video um, photographer there. And she did a video editing, and she did an amazing job on the, project, uh, on the um, programs. And I want you to know nobody else does it better. 
nobody better than Monique. And I love you. Okay, so I'm glad you joined us. And guess who else is joining us? Um, and Monique wants to know if we can use the same recipe in a waffle maker. Absolutely. Just really make sure. Just, yep, why don't you add this here first, okay? Can you scrape all that out? All you have to do if you want to make these out of waffles, they make wonderful waffles, but take your nonstick cooking spray and really spray it up good before you put them in, but they'll come out perfect. They're actually really good. I should have just done that for to give you a, an option of how to do that, but yeah, they're really good. And then we have, and Monique's watching from Columbia, Maryland. Seriously, call me. We got to catch up soon. I still and think the, I mixed it with the wrong Oh, no, no, no. You're doing good. Now we got to put our pumpkin in. You want to put our pumpkin in? Yeah. All right. And can you scooch it in there? Yep. And but anyway, it's going to get Yep. Yeah, it's really good. So now let's try to get, let me see this a second. Um, if I can get all this in here. And then um, I'm going to give you the wire whisk. And you can try, maybe you'd have a little easier time with the wire whisk. Let's try that first. Okay. Take this. Uh huh. And before we add our pecans, oops, let me just put a, um, a little bit of the vanilla in here. Now, I don't pre-measure the vanilla because it evaporates and then you wouldn't get the right amount in. And you just put that in there like that, okay? All right, so let's see if we're getting this hot enough. It's starting to get hot. Let me, I think it needs a little more. Yep, okay, so now just till the, try to get the lumps out. So if you stir like this, you'd probably get a little more lumps. Try that, okay? All right, let's see. Pamela Morgan. Hello, Pamela, all the way from Jamaica. Thank you for joining us, Pamela. And um, and I, if there's anybody that has questions right now, this is the time to ask those questions, if you have any at all, uh, because um, now you get them answered live. But you can, if you forget and you say, oh, I wish I had asked a question, go ahead and, and enter it in on our Kids Club for Jesus Facebook page and uh, um, our um, uh, director for social media, she is so good at answering like right away. So she will like, make sure those questions, if she doesn't know the answer, she'll ask me and we'll get you the answer. Uh, maybe a little bit more, but boy, that's getting good. You're doing a good job. Look at this. Uh, let me put it over here so that they can see over there. If we're getting a good shot. Can you see Melissa? Mm -hmm. Melissa is our general manager for Kids Club for Jesus. She's actually behind the cameras right now. And um, look at that. All right, now you can add the pecans. And let me, let me get this out because you can fold in the pecans, okay? Good job. Now take this in and stir those in really good. Oh, I think you're a really good cook. <laughs> do you like to cook? Yes. What kind of foods do you like to cook? Cinnamon rolls, bread, um, a lot of things. A lot of things. Is your mom a good cook? Yeah. What's your favorite thing she makes? Maybe bread. Bread? What, what kind of bread? cinnamon rolls. Uh -huh. um, like homemade bread. Uh-huh. That's good. I make homemade bread every week, and it's so good for you. Right? Okay, now let's see if we can... You, we should be able to. Let me pull this now out here. Melissa, tell me when we are... Right, now don't touch this since this is hot. Is this... Melissa's going to tell us when that is ready. Okay. And we're going to just, is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to just move this over here just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to just spray this. I don't even know. This is our first time using this. So, whoo, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. So we're going to figure out. So I'll do one and look at how I, I hold it up against this right here. And I'm taking a fourth a cup and I'm going to put it right here. And I take my bottom of the pan and make sure I've got a nice round circle. And this recipe makes about 10 of these, this size pancakes, one and a fourth. So you want to take that and you can put yours right over here, okay? And I like to cook them until they bubble up um, all over. And you'll see uh, um, how they bubble up right there. Oh. That's good, okay, just right there, yeah. Now take the bottom of it and smooth it around gently. Yep, just so it makes a round circle. Perfect. Good job. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then just set that in here. Now you want to put another one right there? Yeah. And let's see how that works. Now you can see this is starting to bubble here, um, but it's not quite ready because you're going to see bubbles everywhere. If you, 
Don't let it bubble up like that. Then guess what you're gonna get inside? You're gonna get some ooey gooey pancakes. And I don't know many people that like ooey gooey pancakes. And a little birdie told me that my cousin Junie's brother, Bill, who you're gonna meet, he doesn't like ooey gooey pancakes either. So, oops, you didn't, I don't want you to, to hurt yourself. Okay, That's, that looks good. So now we're just gonna let that bubble up. And you, how's yours bubbling over there? It's still not quite. We got a little couple yeah. drops over here. And let me put this over here. And see, you can see right here, it's still got some ways to go. This, this one could probably use a tiny little bit right in this spot right over here. And we'll just fill that in. How's that? So what are your favorite sports? Um, like plank or... Plank? Plank. Is that what oh, you Oh, yeah, mean? yeah. Oh, playing. Playing. Okay. Yes. Like what kind of sports do you like to play? Not watch, but play. Um, Really? No. I used to play soccer. Mm -hmm. Do you like to um, do you like to jump rope or? Yeah, I do. You, do. you do? Do you ever play hopscotch? No. No. I bet. No. Does mom know what this hopscotch is? She does. So mom can you say, Mom, will you teach me how to play hopscotch? I, I do know how to play hopscotch, but we don't really play it. Oh well, maybe mom will play it with you now because it's kind of a fun game to play, don't you think? Yeah. Do you like to play baseball or? I like to. Basically, catch balls and do all those fun things. Jump on the trampoline and. Do you have a trampoline? Yeah. You do. Well, that's good. My dad's building us a playhouse. <gasps> wow! Is it a playhouse that's up in the air or is it on the ground? It's up in the air. Up in the air. So we have to get a ladder to get up there. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's. It's, it's gonna be cool. cool. Yeah. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have a brother. And how old is he? Two. Oh, he's, he's with a... his cousin right now. Oh, so are you a good big sister? Yeah. Yeah. Today he, he was hugging me for his rest time. He was hugging you? Yeah. Oh! And do you sing to him or read him stories? or? Well, my mom does that. I sit. I sit you sit and listen? Yeah. Yeah, and just kind of, you know, play with him and, you know, does he have some favorite things he likes to do? Yes, he likes to run around, and he likes to jump on the trampoline. He likes to throw rocks and mm -hmm. a lot of things. Oh, a lot of things. Um, we, can we say hi to Christine and Alexander? Hi, Christine. Hi, <laughs> Alexander. Alexander. Yes, and where are you from, you guys? Um, we don't know where you're from, and Mimi is watching. Want to say hi to Mimi? And Mimi, Mimi, where are you watching from? Now we can see. Now look how, see, there's just lots of little bubbles and only a little bit of the wet. Now we can kind of turn that over now. And look how nice and golden that is. You want to see if you can your, turn yours over? I don't want you to touch right here. Let's see. Like, go underneath it like this. And now give it a good flip. <gasps> Perfect. Well, I think this is ready too. Try that one. Sometimes you have to like get under. Let me get this off of here. You have to kind of lift it up a little bit like to get under that. Now, now you can slide it the rest of the way and give it a good flip. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. And we'll just straighten that out a little bit like that. And how's that? And now we're going to let that finish cooking. Now, because we waited for that to really bubble up good and there wasn't a lot of wet, did you notice there wasn't a lot of wet on top? That means it's not going to be weak gooey inside. It's actually going to be cooked. <laughs> And, uh, and I like my pancakes cooked. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Can you tell me, um, do you love Jesus? Yes. And do you um, do anything to share Jesus? Um. Do you ever tell someone how much Jesus loves them? Or maybe give them a great big smile? Huh? Um, I sing in front of our church, our Sabbath school once. You do? Yeah, I used, I did once. Okay. For Christmas. And what did you sing? Oh, Holy Night. <gasps> That's so pretty. With my friend. With your friend. What was your friend's name that sang with you? Reagan. Reagan. Oh, and were you were you nervous or did you just... I was a little nervous. A little nervous? Yeah. Yeah, but you know when you're doing something for Jesus, he's going to be with you. You're not doing it by yourself, right? Yeah. So you don't have to be afraid. 
And boys and girls, when you're when you are doing working for Jesus, you never have to be afraid because He is with you. He's actually promised that He will never leave you or forsake you. Isn't that awesome? And that's a promise you can count on because God always keeps his promises. All right, let me go get a plate here. And let's see. Now, here's how you test to see if this is done. And, and it bounces back a little. Do you see that? Can you see? I just touch it a little bit and it bounces back. If the dent stays in there, it's not quite ready. So I'm going to just flip this over one more time just so you can see. See how that's all done in there? Completely done. I think this is a safe one for Bill because it won't be ooey gooey in the middle. <laughs> uh, wait, should we find out? All right, let's see. So let's put one on each plate. Let's go ahead and, and uh, put another one right here, okay? Um, you want to take one of these and put right here, but don't touch the edge, okay? okay? And we'll have a plate here for them to come and taste. And put that right there. Perfect. And then take the bottom of it just slightly until circle. Yep, that looks good. Good job. Okay, now you want to take one of those over there and put on this plate. Yes. And then let's put another one over here. And I think that one's done. And we can add a couple more. Although I've done some, um, I've already cooked some ahead of time um, that we can, um, we can have them taste. And maybe, you see right these are already done, but maybe we'll just heat them up up here, okay? And look, we just throw them on there and heat them up so they're ready to go. And in a minute, you can flip them. And then also, they won't be so hot to try. And we'll wait for this to get just a little, um, a little more done because there's not enough bubbles in there, is there? No, we got to, what happens if we don't get the bubbles? It'll be ooey gooey. And we don't want ooey gooey, do we? Do you like ooey gooey? No. I like my, I make a, um, a brownie that's an ooey gooey peanut butter brownie. Now that's good. But I don't like my pancakes too ooey gooey. No. So now you want to turn these and we'll heat them up on both sides. And, yep, yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice and hot. Turn those, those are ready. You can turn those. Uh-huh. Yep, you can turn that, and you can turn the other one. Ah. Oops, you got it. No worries. You're doing such a good job, Sophie. Will you come cook with me again? You're fun to cook with. Let me help you with that one right here. You right, this one. Yep, perfect. Okay, and then we're ready to... This is not quite ready, though, because... What, is there enough bubbles in here? No. Let's take a look at this right here. Um, unless they'll show us a shot of that. It is not quite ready. We gotta wait till, see how it looks like over here? You can see all those little bitty bubbles? That's yeah. what we want right there. Okay, so, and then we have um, Ross uh, is watching us. Ross um, Svetlana, you wanna say hi to Ross Svetlana right there? Hi, Ross. Yes, that, that, was, that was a safe thing to do because <laughs> I didn't know if I said it right either. Okay. All right, well, you know what time it is right now. Let's go ahead and, and put one more of those. Let's flip it around so that it's the top one's on there. Perfect. Oh, it's burning too. So yep, lovely. and let's get another one here and put that. And let's see if wow. that, that's, yep, now we got that. And let's see, we have one for here for you too. And now let's call our tasters out here. Are you ready? Are you ready for our tasters? Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let me put this over here. Um, let's have all of our tasters come. We have your mama. Let's have her, and her name is Angelise, just like Los Angeles. We have Angelise. Mom, come on out. Give her a great big hand. And we have um, my cousin Clarence and his wife, Junie, and also Junie's brother, Bill. Come on out, you guys. Come on right over here. And you can stand over here. We're going to give you each one of a taste. And for this, I think you can use your fingers because you don't even need, if they're so good, you don't even need butter. This is Junie. I want to say hi to Junie. And Junie, you want a special message to somebody. Who do you want to say hi to? Hi, Ken. Say, you, you go ahead and tell them whatever you want to tell them. So nice to see you. I hope you can see us. <laughs> Too bad you can't taste these yummy pancakes. Yeah, you have to tell them what it is. And then my cousin, this is my cousin, Clarence, and Mama. Hello. Um, you was here the last time you were here and Bill come over here I've tried to make sure this is the guy that does not like ooey gooey pancakes. Did I tell That's a lie? Good. No, I don't like them. 
You don't like him. So now we're, so I'm really nervous now. So we got to make sure that he, so here's one for you. Here's one for you and you, and let's get one over here. And, and now everybody jump, come in real closer. So everybody, cause if you can't see the camera, the camera can't see you. So now let's go ahead and try. Oh, Melissa, you want to get a picture of us over here. Um, and uh, uh, my grandson's here. Do you want to come in for a taster, Mike? Sure. Come on in. Woohoo! I've got a pancake just for you right over here. This is my grandson, Mike. In fact, you, people hear me talking about you all the time, Mike. So um, now you got to get to see him. Okay. So everybody over here looking at the picture over here, we're going to get a picture. Big, huge smile. One, two, three. Keep smiling. Okay. All right. So now time for tasting. Go ahead and taste. Drum roll. I'm really worried about Bill over here. Really so I got a thumb. Clarence gave me a thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm oh, waiting. It's, I, <laughs> it's very good. No, no ooey gooey going on no, there, right? Uh, almost ooey gooey, but just perfect. Oh, that's a boy. That's the word I was going for. Junie, what did you think? Good job. You're a good cook. <laughs> and mom. It's delicious. And you saw how easy it is, you it guys. Was. We could you could really make this in in five minutes and have our breakfast ready. It is so easy to do. And if you really want to have put a little vegan margarine and some extra maple syrup over the top, but it's so good like that, you don't even need mm -hmm. it, do you? you? You could almost call that mm -hmm. a dessert, right? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what, guys? Next week, I will be making thumbprint cookies. And so I want to just, uh, uh, you can go ahead of time and you can go look at those recipes and then make it along with me if you'd like. Otherwise, you don't need to even write, write down the recipe for this today because all of our recipes on our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. And I would just ask you to prayerfully consider what God would have you do to support our ministry. We're completely funded by donations. And, um, and we, as, as, um, as you say your prayers, keep us in prayer every single day because I really appreciate those prayers. And we can do nothing without God. Isn't that right, Sophie? Because we know, too, that with God... All things are possible. Let's say it together. With God, all, all things are possible. So we can't wait to see you next week. Join me this Sabbath at 5.30 live on YouTube. We're live on YouTube now and Facebook. Brenda Walsh Ministries for Praise and Worship. So until next time, remember, it's, it's kid time, time to, to share, share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you. Have a good week.